yeah cool so let us do the part 3 now uh, till now uh, like okay let me explain part 1 we haven't specified any kind of additional schema but it got filled then we introduced a schema location because it will detect the metadata of that source file and then it will store it in this path but the problem was like it was not detecting the correct data type so for that in the part 2 we have just used a uh, infer column types that was make uh, like taking care of that was taking care of <coughs> getting a correct column data types that was absolutely fine now your stream is still running now my use case is okay i have uploaded a jan file you can see the jan file and the data okay let me show you how that jan file looks like let me use select star from auto loader 1 let me copy this i want you to concentrate here i'll just use person sql and let me execute this so you will be getting the data new column rescued and you will be getting a correct data types also that is absolutely fine now what i want my use case is i am getting a fib file but that data is changed here i am getting a new column with a column name as country code here i did not have a country code so now if i drop this february file your stream is running continuously let us see what happens does your stream fails or does your data get appended let us see what happens now let me go to the raw file and upload it inside the input stream input stream i'll click on upload my data is changed now my schema is changed okay so let me drop the file click on upload come back to my ingestion file notebook now let me check what happens yeah your stream got failed guys see what happened here hey it encountered unknown field during passing the country code is a new column that is getting in okay i new column got detected so it your stream got failed but what has happened to that table let me check whether your rows got appended here i let us check no yeah, i did not get any new rows okay let me go back to the source uh, adls to see what has happened to the output stream in my name and you can see auto loader 1 in the auto loader 1 we are working on the auto loader 1 schema location schema hey uh, now you can see the time also you got a new file detected new json file detected can i click on this can i open that and can i go to edit and see what has happened here so it got a new schema that is version 1 0 was first version now we got a, a second json file with a name 1 and if you look carefully somewhere a new column will be detected here you can see that yeah you can see country column is detected and okay so what i'm trying to say that the schema location is detecting your source file schema but but your uh, streaming got failed why it is happening so so let me go back to an option and i'll talk about the schema evolution mode so this is what i want to talk so when you talk about the schema changed schema evolution so we need to provide a option one more option called cloud files dot schema evolution mode and you can read this mode guys the mode for evolving the schema as new columns are discovered in the data by default columns are inferred as a string when inferring a json data set see the schema evolution for more details let me click on this yeah so when i clicked on this more details now i got a new link where i'll be showing you these link here how does the auto loader schema evolution work so auto loader detects the addition of the new column as it processes your data when the auto loader detects a new column the stream stops this is what exactly i am talking about your stream has stopped now now our stream stopped with unknown field exception so you can see here somewhere it is unknown field exception cool unknown field exception Uh, this is what exactly i'm looking before your stream throws this error your auto loader perform the schema inference on the latest micro batch of the data and updates the schema location 
yes, we have been to our schema location and we have seen that, hey, my data got updated. My schema location got updated now with the latest schema by merging the new columns to the end of the schema. Yes, the data type of the existing column remains unchanged. So what are the types of what are the types of schema evolution you can provide? So you can see the uh, like cloud file schema evolution. The default one is add new columns. Default one is add new columns. OK, so you are saying that default is add new columns. But in our use case, when I executed this, I did not get any new column. I did not get anything new column. I will come to that point. You can see uh, add new columns is by default. Your stream fails. New columns are added to the schema where existing columns do not evolve the data types. So now if you execute that code again, you will be getting a new column. We will talk about that. Suppose some requirement is like the other use cases. No, I don't want to stop my stream. I don't want to stop my stream. Whatever the new columns are coming, that should be uh, like that all new columns should come into the rescue column. You can see this rescue column here. It should come into the rescue column. Then you can use a cloud files dot schema evolution mode as rescue. It will take care that your stream does not fail due to the schema change. All the new columns are recorded into the rescued data column. That can be other requirement. Uh, then the third is fail on new columns. So your stream fails. Your stream does not restart unless the provided schema is updated. So this is manually. You have to go back to the source file and see, hey, what happened? Why the stream got failed? Can you tell me? Okay, this is a new file. You remove that new column and then you upload that file again and then you start the stream. This is how you can handle when you get a new columns or you can just say that you don't evolve the schema whatever the new columns are coming you just ignore all that and the stream does not fail due to the schema change but a new columns also not detected when you use a mode called none so now i am not using any option called schema evolution mode let us not use anything uh, why because already in the output stream a new schema is detected okay i understood that a new column is coming called as a country code column I'll just copy this. I'll paste it here. I'll not do any change, guys. I'll not do any change. I'll just execute it. There were two files, Jan file, pep file with a new column. And now you can see the error, a schema mismatch detected when writing to a delta table. Now, when you executed it, there was one table you can see autoloader table which had one, two, three, four, five, six columns. But now it is saying that schema is mis mismatched. So can you just think on how to handle this scenario, guys? So if you want to match the schema in the right, you have to use an option called merge schema. Merge schema to be true. So I'll just use merge schema. Okay, let me move this all let me take this in a new line of code so that you can understand that what change we have done it here so let me use dot option option and say that merge schema i'll make it to true okay now let me start the same script here now your stream has started now stream has added now it will be really interesting to see the output when i run this select star from the table name now let me see how many columns do i get how many columns do i get so let me come here and then execute this execute this i you will be surprised to see that you will get a new column oh let me zoom out this yeah you will get a new column and the column name is country code country code and you can see there is a rescued column all showing null and you have uh, like you got a new column and for rest all records there is no country code so it is showing you nulls and now you got a country code 
so this is how you can handle when you are getting a new column if you want a new column you can just use an option called merge schema and but you have to come to this code and execute it again because there is a schema detected so this is one use case one scenario now someone might say that no i would don't do it manually i want it automatically so whatever the new columns are coming that should stream continuously so for that as i have explained you need to take an option called cloud files schema evolution mode you make it rescue so your stream does not fail you keep on adding a new files that will be recorded in the rescued column let me take one scenario here now we i'll have a march file march file oh march file i'm getting one more column new column area code now if i drop this file in my adls please tell me what will happen think and tell me what will happen okay now let us see your stream is running now i got a new column area code i'll drop that file and see what happened so what i'm trying to say that your uh, stream will stop your stream will stop uh, let me go back let me get into this so here we have five columns here we got six column now what i'm dropping is your seventh column so your stream is now currently running so when a new column is detected let us check your new column is detected your stream will stop it has to be stopped you can see here so that's what i am trying to explain your stream has stopped that saying that hey there is an area code okay so a json file is created in your uh, schema location you can go back and check there is a json file created output stream and let me go back inside this there is an schema uh, location auto loader 1 schema location and now you got a third file here you can see this okay in this third file there will be area code now you might say that okay i understood that a new file is coming uh, sorry new column is coming okay no worries i got that point okay no worries now i want a new column now i want that area code to be appended here to be added here okay you don't need to do anything just execute that code again you don't need to do anything execute that code again already we used a merge schema option it will take care of merging that new column in the existing auto loader one table and you get a area code as a new column that's it but in a production environment in the production environment the scenario will be i don't want to come manually and start this i don't want to come manually and st uh, start this my stream should never stop and whatever the new columns are coming that should be uh, that should go inside a rescue data how to handle that so for that you need to give and schema evolution mode uh, by default it is add columns but you can give a rescue column to do that how we will see that in the next part so now you can see area code is there inside a column and it got detected beautiful so this was about when you get a new column how to handle that by using a merge schema option and you can see that new column are added in the table thank you for watching this video guys if you like it please subscribe to my channel like the video share it with your friends keep learning